Hey everyone, uh, it's Natasha here and I am reviewing stuff again. We're here with Take My Word For It, where I review healthy foods and let you know if it is up to par um, nutrition-wise and also taste-wise um, before you buy it to see if you actually really want to do it. So Valentine's Day is coming up and so I thought why not test out some healthy sweet treats. Um, so I have a bunch of sweet food items um, like chocolate and things like that that claim they're healthy or organic or non-GMO so on and so forth um, and I am testing them out to see how they are health wise and how they are um, taste wise too because that's very important so um, let's see what we have here so I have one two three four five six different things here and I'm gonna tell you um, what they are the pricing um, the good, the bad, the ugly, what it tastes like. Let's go. So first up, we have Nugo Fiber Delish Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip. Is that what it says? It does. So um, this says it's non-GMO. It's verified. Um, on the other side, it says heart friendly. It's got some other stuff on there lots of fiber um from my notes it says that here we go from my notes it's it's saying it's 160 calories each which is not bad um low in saturated fat low cholesterol and low sodium um high in fat and fiber which is good um but it does have added sugars to it um some people even say it might be too much fiber in it and i might make you go to the bathroom which means that i might not be taking a whole chunk of this but we're gonna try it out and see so um this is um a dollar and 56 cents it comes in a 25 dollar box of 16. I'm sorry, I got my notes written down here, so I'm giving y'all factual information that's on here. So again, this is Fiber Delish, the peanut chocolate chip version. So let's go ahead and open this up and see how it is. Can I open it? I don't know, and it's looking like I can't. So we might have to just, oh, I got it. So this is looking pretty, oh. So this is what it looks like, kind of like a soft bar. If it, it smells very proteiny, like the fake kind of protein in there. Um, and as you can see, it has the oatmeal and I see chocolate chips and some peanuts in here, which seems like it should be good, right? All right, let me give it a taste. This is not good, guys. Maybe they use some kind of maple syrup or some kind of something in it. It says cane sugar on here. Natural flavors. Um, I'll take another bite for y'all. It's a lot going on, but it still tastes like blah. Which makes me wonder, how? How is that even possible for it to have so much stuff in it and taste like nothing at the same time? Let's move on. We got another uh, new Go Fiber Delish here. This flavor is chocolate brownie. Not very excited about it, but let's try it first. 160, the other 140, I'm sorry. This one is 140 calories compared to the other one, which is 160. Low fat, low sodium, low cholesterol, high in iron. All right, so if you need extra iron, this might be the one for you. Does have added sugars to it. Um, um, and some people claim that it has too much fiber in it and it tastes bad. That was a review on there. They said that it tasted badly. It's $1.56 again. If you buy the $25 pack, well, of 16 so you can see this, it just doesn't look good, okay? Um, it doesn't look good at all. You can see that it is brown, 
Uh, so it, it smells like a little bit of chocolate and <laughs> protein. And it has like the little oatmeal flakes in there. Uh, I'll taste it. This is not good. This is worse than the other one. And I'm not taking another bite of this. Um, here's the deal. Like I said before, if I am going to eat something that's healthy, I want it to taste good. Like, who wants to eat bad stuff just because it's healthy? Who wants to eat stuff that tastes bad because it's healthy? Natasha's not doing that. If y'all want to do it, cool. I ain't. Um, so again, this is the Fiber Delish chocolate brownie. The person reviewed that it tastes bad, and it does. Uh, we're going to move on. So next we have this Char Bar. You can see that. And it's gluten-free. Okay, it's a chocolate bar. It's only 100 calories, which is okay. That's good for a nice little chocolate bar with some caramel in it. That sounds pretty good. Um, it does have a lot of added sugar. It's not a lot. I mean, it has seven grams. I mean, that's, um, it's a small bar. So what do you think? It's $2.34 each, basically. Um, usually it comes in a pack of five. Okay. So it is 32% milk chocolate, 30% caramel filling. I guess they want me to see that the chocolate and the caramel are equal. Maybe some other bars don't have a quality amongst chocolate and caramel. I don't know. Maybe that's important to some people. Um, so it's gluten and wheat free, non-GMO, preserv preservative free. Um, let's see what this caramel and chocolate combo tastes like. First, it kind of, it looks like a Twix bar. Look at that. It looks like a kind of like a larger Twix bar. Like exactly like a Twix bar. It smells like chocolate wafery kind of smell. All right. Oh, it does have a wafer in there. Uh, some kind of cookie. It's not bad. But... I don't see any equality between the chocolate and the caramel like it was saying. This is actually good. Probably because it got so much added sugar in there though. I'm taking another bite for y'all. Okay. This is, it tastes good. But amongst the other um, chocolate or whatever sweet snacks that we've had, it tastes it the best thus far but it is does have a lot of added sugar to it and that's probably why it tastes so good so it is um gluten free for you guys who are gluten free so yeah okay that's a plus let's move on next we have emmys emmys right here peanut butter organic coconut cookie yeah Organic, gluten-free, vegan, 3% protein, non-GMO. All right. Uh, $2.50, and you can, it's just one. Well, I'm going to open it, but it is just one little round cookie. Um, so that is on the bad side of things. It's a, it's a small serving size, so if you just have this one, that's what you're supposed to be eating, and that's it, okay? Let's have added sugar and added um, saturated fat. None of these had added saturated fat, so um, that's a minus. Plus, no sodium, I mean, low sodium, no cholesterol. 110 calories per little pack. So let's open up the pack and see what it's looking like in here. Okay. This is it. it smells like coconut. What is this? Coconut and peanut butter. It's an interesting smell. It almost like a hash brown. Hmm. I'm sure it's not going to taste like one. Okay. Um, peanut butter. 
Yes, coconut. Yes. It's different. I wouldn't think of this choice. Maybe if it was just coconut, it would probably be good. But they added a little peanut buttery element in there. Kind of throwing me off a little bit. The texture is fine. It's like a coconut, but it is soft though. So, hmm. it's not bad. It's okay. If you want something a little sweet. Again, that was Emmy's peanut butter organic coconut cookie. It's okay. We got two more. We have, mm, not that one. Let me get it together. We have our Unreal Dark Chocolate Almond Butters. It looks like a little peanut butter cup. It is smaller than a Reese's though. You can see, smaller than a Reese's. 80 calories per cup. Added sugar, yes. Low sodium, no cholesterol. It's kind of expensive though. It's $5.30. 30 cents per cup if you divide it because it's 31 14 and six that come in a pack so if my math is correct i think um then that's like five dollars and some change five dollars so it is non-gmo and that's what we got on here certified vegan because it is almond butter and not from an animal and this is melting already okay so this is the chocolate peanut butter it smells like dark chocolate oh yeah um that peanut butter and then I'm sorry, almond butter in there? It's almost non-existent. It's not a lot in there. So, sorry I'm looking at my fingers, but if you want some dark chocolate, that's the way to go. If you want some almond butter in your dark chocolate, that's not the way to go. And so I'm going to assume that this one, same company, same thing, but now instead of almond butter, it's actual, actual peanut butter. Um, and basically the same thing. 80 calories, no uh, cholesterol, no sodium, no artificial flavors, and that's a plus for um, this company, if that's important to you. Um, it has a little bit of added sugar to it. Um, so, again, $5, about $5 each. Was it $4? I don't know. Um, here it is again with the dark chocolatiness. I can get it out and so I don't like this one all right if they gave me some more peanut butter in here maybe it would be fine but the peanut butter content in here is so low it's like why I think people really like to have um, Reese's and stuff like that because the peanut butter chocolate ratio is pretty good. It's pretty even, I should say. Um, and then that one, not so much. I've tried five things, I thought it was those six things. And um, so we had this, the Fiber Delish peanut butter one, peanut chocolate chip. Remember that? That's what it looks like on the inside. Boom. Didn't really like that. Um, the Fiber Delish chocolate chip brownie. This is what this one looked like. Boom. That was horrible. Um, we had this one, the Char gluten-free chocolates. So you say it? Chocolate with the ratio of caramel to chocolate on here, which I don't think was true. Pretty good. Not that great for you though. I mean, hey. 
And then we had our two uh, peanut butter or whatever, butter cups. This one is almond butter is a purple. Peanut butter is the red. Um, chocolate is definitely very dark chocolatey. Uh, and hey, yeah. So my choice out of all of them would be ding, 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 this one for taste. It tastes the best. Um, does have the added sugar, like I said. Um, I probably would never buy any of these. Um, because I would just eat regular chocolate. <laughs> I would just eat the regular chocolate that I know tastes good, but don't eat a lot of it. Uh, that's just how I am. But it's very good to have these different options if you want to. Again, Valentine's Day is coming up. You might want to go ham on some chocolate. But you kind of want to watch your calories i don't know i'm kind of making up excuses and you can try these um if you want if you have a sweet tooth and you want to pick up one of these to just kind of get the edge off they may work for you you may like the taste of it um you don't have to take my word for it but that's what this segment is called and i think you should take my word for it um and that's it so Please subscribe to this channel, Natasha Ashley Nutrition. I am Natasha Ashley. Um, you can go to my website, NatashaAshleyRD.com. Follow me on Instagram, Natasha underscore RD, and on Twitter at Natasha underscore RD. Facebook, Natasha Ashley. Um, and um, that's it. Again, you can take my word for it or you won't have to, but I think you should because I'm a dietitian and I like food and I like foods that taste good. So that's it. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.